This is a test. This is a test. What do you know about language arts, math, science, and social studies? Find out while playing along with Knowledge for College, where teams from competing UISD schools spin the wheel of knowledge and answer questions from a world of subject categories. It's a mind challenge for students and a chance to win for their school. But most of all, it's a really fun way to learn. Now, let's play Knowledge for College. Hello and welcome to Knowledge for College, a game show featuring some of UISD's best and brightest students. My name is Jose Sanchez and today we have contestants from Clark Elementary and Killam Elementary. And our guest host today is Ms. Cordy Jackson. And she is the head of uh, the director of purchasing for, right. for UISD, yes. right? Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, or for the children, about, uh, about what it is that, that you do? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Welcome, students. Um, I'm the Director of Purchasing for UISD. So what our department does is we procure everything for the district. When a new school is built, we buy all the furniture, equipment, and educational products. And then for everyday purchases, we, have, we bid out annual contracts for the teachers and administrators to use. There you see. So she she makes sure that that uh, everybody has everything they need, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good to have you here. It's Thank good to you. have you here today. Uh, let's meet our contestants uh, from Clark Elementary. We have uh, William. How are you doing today, William? Good. That's good. What do you like to do in your spare time? Mm, play with my sister. Oh, you like to play with your sister? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. That's fun. All right. Hi, Olivia. How Hi. are you today? I'm good, thank you. That's wonderful. What do you like doing in your spare time? I like playing with my cat. Oh, you have a cat. Just one cat? Yes. One's enough. That one's enough, isn't it? All right. From Killam Elementary, we have Rafael. How are you doing today, Rafael? I'm good. That's great. And what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, mostly play video games. Oh, cool. Cool, video games. That's fun. And last but not least, Josue. How are you doing today, Josue? Good, good. That's wonderful. And what do you do in your spare time? Well, I like to read informational books. Oh, okay, sure. Any any uh, particular subject? Um, historical. History. Social history. studies. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I like that. That's one of my favorite subjects, too. I like reading history a lot, too. Great. Well, it's good to have everybody here. Uh, let's go over the rules. Okay, now each team is gonna take turns spinning that wheel there, right? Uh, we have questions from the categories of math, science, language arts, and social studies. Each question is worth five points. And then we have our wild turn category, the red one there that says wild turn on it. Uh, those questions can come from any subject area and they're harder questions. They're the most difficult questions we have, and so they're worth double points. Each one of those is worth 10 points. Now, you have a one-minute time limit to answer the questions. You have 60 seconds to answer the question after I ask it. When your time is up, you'll hear a bell like that, and that means you got to, when you hear that bell, you got to give us your answer right away. Of, of course, each team earns the points by answering questions correctly. Okay, if uh, you an your answer is incorrect, the other team will get a chance to answer the questions and earn the points for themselves, but you don't get a one minute time limit. You have to give me your answer right away, okay? Because you've already had a minute or whatever amount of time it was that it took them, right? Okay, anyway, that's, those are the rules. All right, we had a coin toss earlier to decide who would go first, and Clark Elementary won the coin toss. So Clark Elementary, go ahead and uh, spin the wheel. And we're gonna start with a science question. We're gonna start with science for five points. And we'll give them their, their copy of the questions, or the question rather, it's only one question. All right, just get them, they, get, they get stuck together sometimes. There you go. You. Go ahead and uh, follow along with Mrs. Jackson as she asks you the following question. Go okay. ahead. Man. There are several months of snowfall in the town where um, Samantha lives. 
The snowfall is usually followed by several months of warm weather in which flowers bloom. Which cycle of natural causes um, these changes in her of nature causes these changes in her town? A, the water cycle, B, the lunar cycle, C, the ocean tides, or D, the seasons? D. Correct. D is correct. Excellent. Five points for Clark Elementary. Good job. All right, Killam Elementary, it is your turn. Go ahead and uh, spin the wheel. And it's going to be social studies. It's going to be social studies for Killam Elementary School. Okay, the question, of course, ahead. is thank you. The question, of course, is worth five points. Go ahead and uh, follow along. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Who is the chief officer of the executive branch of the state of Texas? Is it A, the mayor, B, the governor, C, the chief justice, or D, the speaker of the house? Um, A. No, that's not the A correct. is incorrect. Clark Elementary, what's the correct answer on that? Mm -hmm. C. C. C is also incorrect. incorrect. The correct answer is B. The chief officer of the executive branch of the state of Texas is the governor. The governor is the, the, the chief executive of, of the state. No score there. It is Clark Elementary's turn to spin the wheel. Go ahead. Math. Here we go with a math question. Here you go. Thank you, man. And again, this is worth five points. Here you go. Go ahead and follow along. You've got paper there that you can use to uh, work out any uh, any calculations you need to do. Okay. Go ahead, Mick. Okay. Alfred sorted his collection of baseball cards. Alfred will give one tenth of his collection to his brother and sell three eighths of his collection. Which statement is true? A, Alfred will sell exactly half of his collection. B, Alfred will give more than half of his collection to his brother. C, Alfred will sell less than half of his collection. Or D, Alfred will have the exact half of his collection left. Okay, Clark Elementary, what is your answer? B. That's incorrect. B is incorrect. Killam Elementary, what's the correct answer? C. That is correct. C is the correct answer. That's right. Half, less than half. Less than half of the collection. Very good, Killam. That's five points for you, and you get to spin the wheel. Go ahead. And we've got language arts. It's going to be language arts. Okay, and again, this is worth five points. And go ahead and take these and, whoops, that's weird. There you go. Take you. these and follow along, go ahead. Okay. What is the meaning of the underlined word in this sentence? The bump on his forehead was abnormal, so his mom took him to the doctor. A, similar to all others. B, swollen and infected. C, different from what was expected, or D, typical or average? C. 
Correct. C is the correct answer. Yeah, abnormal. Abnormal means it's not normal. It's it a very weird bump on his head. You definitely want to go to the doctor for that, right? All right, so that's five points. Clark Elementary, it's your turn to spin the wheel. Go ahead. And it's wild turn. It's time for a wild turn question. This is going to be a difficult, higher difficulty question. It's worth double points, 10 points for this one, all right? If you answer it correctly, you have to answer it correctly in order to get the 10 points. Go ahead and follow along with Mrs. Jackson. Go ahead. Okay. Some bakers make apple pies. They have 15 boxes of apples. Each box has 18 apples. They use seven apples for each pie. What is the total number of apple pies that the bakers can make? Is it A, 33, B, 38, C, 39, or D, 40? Okay, time's up. What is the correct answer? A? No, that's not the correct answer. That is not the correct answer. B? No, no the correct was. answer was C. C, 39. 39. 39 pies with what he's got. He can make 39, right? Okay, well, no score there. And we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Knowledge for College. Stay tuned. Get on the right track this school year. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new car as part of the same key on the classroom program. In order to win, you'll have to go the distance by having perfect attendance during any nine-week period. Your name will then be entered into the UISD grand prize drawing to win a new 2019 Kia Soul. So go the extra mile, attend class, and have a chance to win a new car! United ISD is looking to hire school bus drivers. Qualified drivers who are hired will receive paid bus driving training, paid annual drug and alcohol testing, paid annual physical exam, paid state required bus driver certification, paid certification class time, and excellent employee benefits. In return, UISD is looking for a two-year bus driver commitment. Consider a rewarding career working with students at United ISD. Apply today. Campus Crime Stoppers allows United ISD students to provide anonymous tips to campus administration and local law enforcement. UISD students can report crimes and school violations by calling the tip line at 727-TIPS, downloading the mobile app, or submitting a tip online by going to www.LaredaCrimeStoppers.org. You'll remain anonymous, and you could receive a cash reward if you see something, say something, and report it to Crime Stoppers. All United ISD high school students have the chance to score really big this school year as part of the SAMES Key on the Classroom program. Just have perfect attendance during any nine-week period and your name will be entered into the UISD Grand Prize drawing to win a new 2019 Kia Soul. Play like a champ, refuse to lose, go to school, get a good education, and maybe even a new car. It's a win-win! We are back. You are watching Knowledge for College. Today's contestants are from Clark Elementary and from Kilimanjaro Elementary School. Our 
guest host today is Ms. Uh, Cordy Jackson, uh, Director of Purchasing for United Independent School District. I believe you had a question for the, for the students. Yes, students. So I know yeah. you're only in fifth grade, but have you all thought about what college or university you'd like to go to or what you'd like to be when you grow up? Yes. 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 So where would you like to go to school? LC. LC, that's a good choice. And you? Texas UNM. Very good. And you? Tammy U. Tammy U, very good. Princeton Uni University. Oh, great. Excellent. So, so everybody's got high hopes. Yeah. Everybody's aiming high. That's good. That's good. There you go. That's right. <laughs> hey, cool. All right. A little music for us. All right. Very good. Well. Uh, where we left off, I guess it was Killam Elementary's turn to spin the wheel. So go ahead and spin that wheel for us. And it's language arts. It's going to be a language arts question. There you go. Thank you. This will be worth five points. Go ahead and listen very carefully to Mrs. Jackson. Go ahead, Okay. Maddie. The mm -hmm. following are all examples of, and let me read the words, around, beneath, between, from, near, over, past, throughout. Are they A, verbs, B, subjects, C, prepositions, or D, adjectives? D. No, that's not correct. Clark, Clark Elementary, what's C. the C. That is correct. They are all prepositions. Very good, very good, very good. Five points for Clark Elementary, and guess what? It's your turn to spin the wheel. Go ahead. Science. And this is worth five points. Again, go ahead and follow along here with Mrs. Jackson as she reads for you the following question. As soon as I'm finished fighting with this thing here that doesn't want to open, there it is. There we go. Go, go ahead and ask another question. Lucy and Ryan are building a model of a, for, of a forest food chain. They have trees, leaves as producers and deer as consumers. They need to fill the decomposer spot by choosing which of the following? A, an owl, B, a mushroom, C, a crab, or D, a rabbit? Oh, um, B? B. Correct. Okay, that's correct. A mushroom, the decomposer. Very good. Very good. Five points for Clark Elementary, Killam Elementary. Spin the wheel. Language arts. Got another language arts question coming right up. Worth five points. And go ahead and listen very closely to the following question. Go ahead. Okay. All of the following are examples of, let me read the, the question, uh, Blake and Shelton, rice and beans, assistants or the head coach, uncles or aunts. Compound subjects, predicates, adjectives, or proper nouns? A. Correct. Very good. Those are compound subjects. Excellent. Excellent, excellent work. Go ahead, Clark Elementary, and spin the wheel. Science, time for a science question. Worth five points. And go ahead and listen very closely to Mrs. Jackson as she asks you the following science question. Go ahead. Which of the following is not identified as a renewable resource? A, mineral deposits, B, natural vegetation, 
C, fish population, or D, corn crop? A. You are correct. Very good, very good. Yeah, mineral deposits, once, once they're gone, they're gone. They don't, they don't come back. Fish can reproduce, right? But you can grow more vegetables, but once you mine those minerals, they're, they're gone forever. All right, excellent work. Go ahead, kill them. Spin that wheel. And it's time for social studies. Okay, and this, of course, is worth five points. Listen very carefully to the following question. Let me see, get this open for you here. There you go, go ahead, ma'am. What is not an example of a physical characteristic of a region? Economy, A, B, climate, C, vegetation, or D, landform? I'll read the question one more time. What is not an example of a physical characteristic of a region? A, economy, B, climate, C, vegetation, and or D, landform? A, very good, they are correct. Excellent, excellent. Took a little while of discussion, right? But yeah, economy is not a physical characteristic. Climate's a physical characteristic. Landform is a physical. Economy, not a physical characteristic. Very good, good work. Good work for killing. Five points for you. Clark Elementary, spin the wheel. All right, we got another social studies question. That was a good spin, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that thing was never going to stop. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and uh, follow along very closely with uh, Mrs. Jackson. Go ahead, ma'am. To move from one country, place, or locality to another, is it A, transfer, B, fly, C, migrate, or D, travel? C. Correct. That's right. In fact, if you're just going to one place to another, just go in there and coming back, that's, that's travel. But migrate, like you're going there, you're moving there forever, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good work. All right. Kill them elementary. Spin the wheel. And it's math. It's going to be math. All right, put on your thinking caps and uh, get ready to listen to Mrs. Jackson as she asks you the following question. Go ahead. Carlos spent $18.54 on three shirts. Each shirt cost the same amount of money. How much money did each shirt cost? Is it A, $21.54, B, $15.54, C, 603 or D, 618? D. You are correct. 618, excellent. Excellent, we divided there, didn't we? Right, excellent, good job. And now we're gonna take another short break. You are watching Knowledge for College. Keep it right here. 
Educators should always maintain a professional relationship with their students. Unfortunately, statistics show improper teacher-student relations in Texas are at an all-time high. It's considered a second-degree felony and, if convicted, could be punishable by imprisonment of 2 to 20 years, fined up to $10,000, and registration as a sex offender. You will be terminated from employment, and it will result in loss of your teacher certification. Consider, Consider the, the consequences. consequences. We should always feel safe at school. Threatening to hurt or kill someone is a crime. Making threats in person or on social media can get you into serious trouble. And spreading rumors can be just as harmful. It's no joke to show pictures of weapons or make threats to hurt or kill someone. If you see something that affects your safety or your school safety, report it immediately to a parent, school official, or law enforcement. If you see it, if you hear it, don't spread it, report it. Watching UISD ITV, the best source for education information. You've been watching Knowledge for College, a game of knowledge and learning featuring some of our best and brightest students here at UISD. We would like to thank our contestants from Killam Elementary School and from Clark Elementary School for joining us today. And of course, we would like to thank our guest host. Ms. Uh, Cordy Jackson, uh, Director of Purchasing for United ISD. Ms., uh, what did you think of the, of the show? I loved it. I think our students are really, really smart, and they did a great job. Yes, they certainly did. Very bright students. It was great having you here, ma'am. It was Thank wonderful you for working me. with you. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So don't forget to watch Knowledge for College and all of our other fine programming on this and other local TV stations, including the Public Access Channel. We'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors, Chick-fil-A on Bob Bullock Loop and Clark, CeCe's Pizza, McDonald's. Thanks for supporting our show. We'll see you next time on Knowledge for College. Let's say goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>